Michigan State, the same old story. Another banner year for the rough and rugged Spartans. A record of five wins and only one defeat in conference play. At the throttle of the machine, one of the slickest quarterbacks in the country, Jim Nanowski. Throwing after a nice fake. Good catch by Blanche Martin. Watch now and you'll see why Michigan State is happy that the brilliant running Martin will be back next year. Nanowski graduates. Duffy Doherty with his crew just before a ball game. Understudy for Nanowski was sophomore quarterback Jim Chesney. He can go too, as you see on this cutback play. He's another that'll make Michigan State a threat once again for national honors next year. Watch this handoff. Chesney collaborates with still another sophomore. That's right halfback Ken Miller. And Ken has two more years to play. You saw Blanche Martin in action earlier, but as the man says, you ain't seen nothing yet. If an opponent dared kick to him, it could end with dire results. Martin on his own 20-yard line will take this kick. Now watch this. Looks like he's going to be easily brought down over there as they pin him to the sideline, doesn't he? Watch. Keep watching. There he comes, Blanche Martin. Slated for plenty of All-American recognition next year will be halfback Blanche Martin, a junior. Michigan State will have a couple of other fellas back in 1958 that will make their opponent shudder. Junior quarterback Mike Panich handing off to junior right halfback Art Johnson. Neither sleet nor snow or cold weather can hamper that pair, let alone football opponents. Art Johnson. Let's watch the good right arm of Jim Nanowski in action against Notre Dame. Lots of time throwing to 218 pounds, six feet four, Sam Williams. And Big Sam rambles with that pigskin against the Irish. And Sam Williams will be back in 1958 too. I think one of the most beautiful runners that ran for our sports TV cameras in 1957 was Blanche Martin. Here he is, number 31, a 65 yard run against Indiana. Let the camera tell the story. He's what the coaches call a hipper dipper. The smartly coached Spartans were always a threat even on defense. The pass went awry. Well, they had alert men to take care of that, such as Mike Panich here. Mike Panich intercepting number 16. He's back next year. Remember what I said about junior halfback Art Johnson? Well, I'm sure that Minnesota needs no reminder. That's Art punching into the end zone for a touchdown. He has amazing power to go with his speed. And we'd be remiss if we failed to mention, of course, Michigan State's great All-American candidate, Walt Kowalczyk. The hammer and blacksmith, number 14, and how that fella can go. At his best as he cuts to the outside. Another fine football player who made Michigan State one of the most feared teams in the land. 